Good morning, my angels. Happy Friday. Happy TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Welcome to Sacred Sagittarius. Angels answers all. I'm Tigra, your humble and blessed host, bringing you the messages that are, I'm guided to that are shown in the cards for general purposes in your life to things that maybe you should be aware of or start to take notice or get back on track in your life. Be followed by the weekend reading for you for this Saturday and Sunday. The following week, as our birthday season starts, I will be trying my best, and I quote <laughs> and keyword, try my best to do daily content. But again, you're the motivation, the exchange of energy, you watching, you subscribing, you commenting, gives me the desire to continue posting as often and as frequently as we can. I will do my best during the birthday season. This birthday season is a little busy for me, so there will be a week or so that I'm not available, but I will try to do the daily readings as much as I can um, during our birthday season like I have done over the years. But if I miss a day or so, I will double up. During the birthday season, if this is your first time watching the channel, if you're coming back, I do try to do shout outs. So it's very important if you want me to shout you out on your day or during the week of your birth, please put your birth date. You don't have to put the year, just the day of November or December if you're a December Sag um, in the comments. Also, I try to give each of you for your particular date of birth some information about your characteristics which is cool for you guys who watch the channel especially the cross watches because it kind of gives you more insight in particular to the sag you're dating and they're or you know friendly with for their date of birth so come on back and again if you're a content creator yourself or you create Sagittarius theme gifts and you like for me to post them on the channel it might be a little too late to get them to me for November Sagis, but still contact me at sacredsagjourney at gmail.com I always love to share with the community the different items that you have um I'm gonna try to get at least one or two on my own so definitely that I can share with you and I can enjoy during our birthday season and happy birthday in advance because it's gonna be here so excited so excited next week our season starts and happy birthday to my scorpios because i do have scorpio in my vedic chart so you'll be winding out and we'll be coming in strong okay cause a blessing prayed for we're going to cleanse the space it is our friday wake up call reading and again your appreciation of the channel really matters the more you guys watch the quicker i can get reinstated with my monetization and then hopefully hopefully my videos will get seen by the bigger population since i am a small non-monetized channel okay what is the first message that we get for our friday wake up call okay two wanted to come out so i believe that's what the universe wants me to share with you sagittarius you're going to be celebrating something very special soon and guess what? The universe isn't lying. We have our birthday season coming around the corner. For some of us, it could be a milestone. It could be your 30th birthday, your 40th, your 50th, your 60th, your 70th. God bless you if it's your 80th, right? So yes, definitely we have that celebration coming and maybe some other celebrations that some of you would like to share. You'll be so full of joy and happiness, it will almost seem out of this world how suddenly it all happens for you. Be ready for it. Expect it. It's happening. So this really sounds like it's more than just the celebration of our birthdays. There could be something really special going on for many of you um, during this month. Things that may be, you know what? It's our birthday. And especially for those of you who might have big milestone birthdays. Maybe your family members are going to throw you a surprise party. Or take you away on vacation. Or just have a nice, quiet family dinner together. But there's that element of surprise that outside of your birthday, in celebrations of your birthday, there could also be other things that people might want to do or share with you during this month. We also get the message, <clears throat> this is your validation that things are finally beginning to work out for you. Get ready, Sagittarius. What did we just say? And it's right here. For the unexpected. Wow, thank you, universe. And breakthroughs. So unexpected breakthroughs, expected or unexpected, a combination of both as far as celebrations, the celebrations about your birthday or celebrations about the unexpected breakthroughs. 
Good news and plot twist. The blessings are coming. I am all here for it. And we deserve it. Because some of us, Saggies, we've had some rough weeks, months, and years. And we need that light to continue to glow in us. And we need the light to shine upon us so that we can continue to be a source of light to others. So plot twists and all type of good stuff and breakthroughs coming through. And again, we'd love for you to share in the comments if these breakthroughs happen for you or just reading resonates with you if not today maybe somewhere down the line we'd love to hear your feedback as we continue on let's see what our color energy is for this coming weekend and the starting friday that maybe we need to focus or encompass in our life we get the color pink let love in look at the beautiful pink tulips oh doesn't it remind you of springtime and summer and just how soft and delicate pink flowers are or in, partic in particular um pink tulips let the love in so let's see further what the color pink can do for us this could be a sign for you of course as usual to put pink into your home listen it's winter time but to you know get you out of that dark funk definitely put some pink in your wardrobe there's lovely pink scarves gloves all type of hair accessories for you guys i love a guy and a pink tie and a suit oh i think is so sexy with a pink sh shirt oxford shirt so definitely you can incorporate pink again pink looks beautiful with black get some pink flowers in your home put some pink tulips on your altar let love in pink is the energy of unconditional love opening up your heart and helping to heal heart problems it assists with releasing emotional challenges and brings tranquility pink also helps with insomnia and the manifestation of dreams open your heart with delicate pink colors so insomnia for those of you who don't know you can research this further if you have trouble sleeping so this can also um, be connected to that Become aware of any tension in your body, taking a deep breath and allow your body to soften. Focus on letting go of any hardness or density. Close your eyes and imagine you're holding the most beautiful pink flower. Breathe in its sweet scent and innocence, inviting its beauty and delicateness to open your heart. Then imagine pink light from the flower flowing into your heart and filling it up with unconditional love. For those of you who are stuck in a hard place in your life or with love relationships or just even with self-love, this is so therapeutic. Now think of someone you love and allow the love you feel to pour from your heart into his or hers. Savor that feeling of love and connectedness. Say divine love, pour your healing light into my heart soften it purify it and rejuvenate it so that it is shiny loving and full of enthusiasm so i definitely want to hear that some of you guys incorporated some pink into your life this weekend two other messages we get is dark so remember i just said that intuitively that i feel some of you might be in a dark space in life this is a reminder that even though you might feel challenged, even though you feel you have this shadow of dark energy around you, you have the light within you, Sagittarius. Don't let yourself get so deep within the darkness that you forget the strength in your light. Main character. This could be the sign of someone coming into your life. Now, there's a photo here injected in, in a city backdrop of a gentleman with a camera. Is this the t plot twist? Is this maybe the unexpected celebration. There's someone here with a camera. Main character, is this someone coming into your life? Maybe a male person that maybe they do photography as a hobby or maybe they're a photographer by trade or maybe you get your photos taken by someone and you end up having a love connection. You've taken a trip to a city or to a town. You could even be the photo person where you're getting sent on a photo shoot. But there's some connection between photography and male energy. And again, don't forget, it could be cross-exchange, so it can also pertain to a female. Definitely let me know if anything pertains to you there. When it comes to love, we get telepathy again. This has been coming out a lot for us. Pay attention to the telepathic messages that are being sent and received at this time. Your loved one, those who miss you, those who want and desire you, could be trying to 
connect with you spiritually through your dreams, through telepathy. Don't ignore the signs when they are reaching out. Before we come to a close, we get the card of offerings. You will be offered a new position or investment opportunity. Think about it, Saggy, and research it carefully before accepting. We know doors are opening. We know there's a lot of change and fluidity going on within our lives. Some of you, not all of you, are going to have some opportunities. Don't jump right at them at first. Do your homework and be sure that you Make sure that this offer is the right thing for you at this time. In closing, if you have a question for the universe, let's take a moment right now in silence to say it and present it to the universe and see what the answer is. Okay, what is the answer to our question? Ooh, soon. So if your petition or your request whether you made one last night or you reaffirmed it or you just made one just now in that moment of silence. If it's dealing with time or if you want to know if something's going to happen or transpire or come to you in your life and 1111, the angelic number, came right at that moment on the camera. Guess what? It is coming soon and I wouldn't doubt it because we've been, we've been getting a lot of good vibes, a lot of good positivity in our readings and I love to see that. You know, we suffer enough with the uneven and balance sometimes so it's good when things balance out that we're getting you know a good share of good and bad and maybe an abundance of new opportunities abundance of great news it's always a blessing to receive god's light his love and the energy that we exchange with the universe let's take one more card from the tarot and we get the page of cups another sign that there could be someone coming to you with an emotional message or bringing you information or something to encourage you emotionally, to bring out a feeling in you or to contribute to something that you are trying to commit to or do um, that has an emotional impact on your life. This has been your Friday Wake Up Call. Wake on up, enjoy your Friday and the coming weekend, and come on back for your general weekend reading. Peace.